got them. There we go. That feels nice. Hey folks, I'm Larry Ladowski with Midwest Outdoors. Visiting some friends up in Northwest Ontario. For the next couple of days, we're gonna be chasing walleye from Ghost River Lodges. Oh, yeah. yeah! That is beautiful! What is the size? What a start to the day! Beautiful, <laughs> nice, healthy, dark color. Because of that dark stained water, they come out nice and dark. That's, that's pretty. Right that's on. a beautiful start, Chelsea. Beautiful, let's put them back. Yeah. So what are we fishing out here, Chelsea? Uh, well, we got this nice little river coming out the back end here, Larry. And then what happens is it planes out and then it drops off to about 17 feet of water. So we're just kind of fishing off the side of that river there. And that's one of the key things, key features, I should say, about the Marchton Chain is you got so many different um, river systems that are coming in and out, right? Yeah, the way that the system works itself is that it's got six different inlets that feeds it and only one outlet. So because of that, all that moving water in the current, I find it keeps the walleyes nice and active. Uh, Gives them lots of oxygen. Lots of oxygen, yeah. and this way it doesn't matter what time of the year that you come. You can come through May to September and you're still fishing, all great fishing, but it just, the depth of the water is changing is all. So it makes it the walleye factory. <laughs> is it lunch? Yeah. Is, it lunch? lunch. is it lunch? Is it lunch? Woohoo! We have lunch now? We have lunch. Well, you have lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have lunch yet. <laughs> so as I mentioned, Chelsea basically grew up at Ghost River Lodges. What was that like? It was pretty rewarding. Like I... Definitely gained a lot of life skills and stuff. Yeah, because you spent the summers up here, like, since you were one. I was in diapers when I first <laughs> came up here. So, well, I definitely had a lot of really wonderful teachers, my dad and my grandpa included. My grandma and grandpa started the resort uh, in 1967. Uh, so it's been in my family for about 51 years. That's awesome. What we're using today is a basic jig and minnow presentation. And I'm putting it through the mouth, out the gill and then into the back, top of the back there, to give that a little action. The rod and reel combination is really important when you're jig fishing. What I like to use is a medium light graphite rod with a fast action tip so you can really feel any type of tick or bite presentation. Oh, big one. Yeah, there you go, Larry. Boy, that one's just sitting right at the bottom. Right under the boat. Yep, right under the boat. Yeah, nice I'm walleye. Oh, man. Coming. <laughs> Check this one out, Chels. Look at that golden Holy color. Look at that beautiful Whoa! Color. Yeah! Yeah, Larry! <laughs> Spit the minnow out right at the boat. Good hook set though, right at the I top. I was just huh? gonna say, look at that perfect hook set. The reason that they're so dark like that is because of the water itself. It's a dark stained fishery. So because of that, the walleyes come out with that nice dark color to them, and they look really beautiful. Hooked on to another good one there, Lair. There we go. Got him. Fantastic. Now I noticed you switched up a little bit, huh? I did. I switched up to a floating jig. Set it up with a sinker, so now this brings me up about 20 inches off the bottom of the water, or the floor, sorry. Oh, oh look at that look guy. At that one. What a nice fish, Larry. Right Got him on, on the go. <laughs> Got him on the go. <laughs> Stinky minnow. Switch her up a little bit. Tell us a little bit about the chain. I mean, obviously we're on Marchington Chain, which is the namesake of the uh, the system here. Tell us a little bit about how many lakes you got. Uh, so the Marchington River system itself is about 9,000 acres. Um, but we do also offer 14 other portage lakes on top of that. Each one has boat motor and gas waiting 14. for you. So you can literally go and fish potentially a different system every day that you're with us, which is kind of cool and unique. Uh, at Ghost River, uh, we like to harvest on our walleyes uh, 14 to 18 inches. Oh, yes. Woohoo! Nice. And then up to 27 and a half on our northern. Uh, this way all the big fish go back and keeps the system nice and healthy. Like this one? Like this one, exactly. <laughs> this one's going to go back and replenish for another day. Uh, then our licensing, we have two different licenses. We have a sport and a conservation license. With the conservation license, we will actually eat the cost of that. So with that, that's two walleye for your conservation and four uh, walleye for your sport. Nice. So depending on how much you want to take home, depends on what license you want. And it keeps the fishery And it all. keeps the fishery yep. Beautiful. See you later. Good job. Yeah. There it is. 
That's the nail ticket right the there. Right there. That's why we come to Ghost River. <laughs> So I'll tell you what, it's getting near uh, supper time, so why don't we head in? This will Sounds good. We'll why put this guy end back. End on a good and, note. Oh, gosh, yes. <laughs> Mom's got some supper cooking. Folks, you have to come up here and experience some of the great walleye fishing that Ghost River has. Chelsea, how did they get a hold of you? Just check out the number below or www.ghostriverlodges.com. That's ghostriverlodges.com. I'm Larry Ladowski from Midwest Outdoors. We'll catch you later. Thanks, Thank you. <laughs>